What's up everybody? This is Russ, RW Research, and this is the Pulse Motor Build-Off second and third place results. Um, I want to give my big thank you to Zero for giving the first place. <clears throat> he did a wonderful job. My presentation probably isn't going to be nearly as good as his, but that's okay, because I'm Mr. Fix-It. Whatever. Anyway, so the wives got to pick second and third place. Nobody really knows what they're picking for or, or what. So I'm going to go ahead and just start it off right away. Um, I'm, I'm going to give a thank you first. Um, the second and third prize winners are actually winning a <clears throat> $100 worth of electronics from their choice of electronics place. And uh, that was donated by Peter. And uh, Peter had a different idea, but we came up with this to be most easiest. And so, Peter, thank you, and I know that everybody else is a big thank you. Um, the, the two individuals, whichever one of you um, would like the VIC card, Stan Myers, if you do want that, good. If not, we'll save it for another time. And um, your, your, uh, your second and third prize winners um, each get $100 worth of electronics for their next build and or anything that they're working on that they think they need. So, awesome, guys. Um, at the beginning of this, I really did not know, <clears throat> me and Tin Man really didn't know what we were going to give away for prizes. And, uh, you know, when you do something big like this and you, you try to show people what you're trying to do, it's a pretty cool thing to see people jump in and, uh, and help um, throw prizes or, uh, or whatever. There's been a, a big gesture towards anybody needing, um, if, you know, if we needed a prize or something like that, there's been a few people offer um, and uh, I basically picked the first couple people who had offered and I didn't um, anyone else past that they will be um, allowed to donate towards the next time we do this so it's been great and I really want to just say thank you to, to everybody and uh, let's get started so the wives picked second and third place okay originally I was going to get on Skype and Skype Tin Man's wife Judy and we didn't get it didn't hit each other the right time frame so they sent me exactly what she would like to say so Judy's second place winner is horn one Woohoo! all right so that is awesome and here's why he showed the build right from taking the coil apart to use on his build to the end result showed the whole thing so that's pretty cool it was fairly simple to build but very effective. He showed his circuit and what his circuit was. He used resources from around the home right down to the barbecue sticks, laugh out loud. He also showed that it doesn't matter what age you are or whether you have ever built one before. If you put your mind to something you will achieve your goals. So that is awesome. Horn One has actually never built a pulse motor and you can tell from his shaky camera footage that he um, you know he's an older gentleman and you know you can do anything no matter your age that's that is awesome alright so congratulations Horn One you did a great job and uh, let's go on to third place okay um, my wife picked the third place winner and she did some interesting judging and I'm going to tell you, okay, before I give you the winner, I'm going to tell you what the comment was, all right? The comment that my wife said was, most confusing for a non-science person. <laughs> so, um, the most confusing build for a person that has no idea what a pulse motor is, no idea what's going on, and uh, th this gentleman used some really cool ideas and uh, in my in my opinion this was an awesome build and it was great use of outside the box thinking so your third place winner is element nine or well one one nine excuse me so awesome good job element if you haven't seen it he's actually using gravity and a reed switch to pull the gravity switches well, the reed switches flip the bar and rotate this thing using gravity. Awesome job. So you both will get 
um, your gifts and uh, your prizes, I should say. So thank you to Peter for donating those. Thank you to Kyle for donating those. I know there's been about three other people that have offered to pitch in where they can if, if something needs, um, if, if we need another prize. So I, I really, I really like this whole thing. And um, the reason I like it is because, you know, me and Tim and we were just playing around, just joking around. And Tim and said, no, why don't, why don't you really do that? Why don't you really have a Pulse More build? I was like, okay, we'll throw a video up. No real instructions, no real information. We didn't know really what was going to happen. And here we are doing this awesome Pulse More build-off thing. So, I, I, you know, it got a lot of people involved, got a lot of people doing stuff, and, and every time you do something, you learn something new. I even learned a bunch of stuff new, and uh, I'm glad, I'm glad I did it. You can see this little, little booger over here is still running. I gotta give you some data on this thing, but right now I'm running on this little bitty tiny LiPo battery. Don't stare at that too long. Yeah, little bitty battery. So that thing will run all day. It's pretty cool. But uh, I, I learned a lot from for myself, and I know that everyone else uh, learned a lot for themselves. And you know, there's a few people who are way outside the box. Uh, Moscow, dude, that was crazy. Um, you just you were so outside the box that you know you didn't have a clue if things was gonna work. And I respect that you're going that length for a short amount of time for an idea that you had. I think that's awesome. So a lot of really cool things out there. I know a lot of you had problems with parts things not working um, luckily we did post videos early and then showed later results and somebody accidentally burned up some components so it was a good thing we did that and uh, we didn't know where this thing was going to go and uh, now we do and next time we do this it'll be a little more organized a little more you know thought out and a little bit better but uh, we're still going to need a, a global amount of people to kind of organize and help promote what we're trying to do which is just get people involved I mean really just get people involved get your brain thinking get you doing something different and uh, you know for me I needed a break um, Zero's building the bike he's building he needed a break from what he was doing you know you gotta take breaks every once in a while from what you're doing and uh, this was a great way a great way to uh, continue continue learning continue doing continue thinking but then you know taking a break from everything else that's going on so I say that there will be more of these. Um, I'm thinking probably an annual thing because twice a year is a little much for even a lot of people, uh, especially for me doing all this was, uh, it was a lot of effort and a lot of work, but I'm very glad that we did it. So, Anyway, this is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Um, please also check out Tin Man's forums. I'm going to read you the link because Tin Man was a big part of this. Um, I know Zero didn't really announce that too much but that's okay because I don't think he um, knows quite as much information um, as, as what I do but it's International Alternative Energy Center alright that's IAEC and my forums um, that was donated by Matt so thank you Matt again sharing the love guys you gotta do that rwgresearch.com and uh, this actual forums is hosted at open-source-energy.org so anyway that's it, Russ. Uh, thank you guys, and have a good day. I'll see you later. Have a happy 4th of July for those of you who are celebrating that. And uh, sorry about the washed out lighting. So, congratulations, guys. Very excited, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of this. And I'm glad to be able to host this type of thing. Look how messy my lab is. It's crazy. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Laters.